back. Now on Eyewitness News, millions of people take multivitamins, but new research shows they may not make much of a difference when it comes to heart health. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl explains. One in three Americans take multivitamins and minerals, spending an estimated $21 billion on supplements every year. But a new analysis suggests when it comes to heart health, multivitamins and minerals are not worth it. Research published in the American Heart Association Journal looked at 18 previous studies on multivitamins that tracked more than 2 million people for an average of 12 years. They found multivitamins do not prevent heart attacks, strokes, or cardiovascular death. Americans taking these supplements, presumably because they're concerned about their health, would be better served by spending their money on uh, good nutrition in the form of a healthy diet. Researchers say the best multivitamins and minerals come from the produce aisle. Fruits and vegetables already have a proven track record in lowering the risk of heart disease and stroke. And supplements are not FDA approved for safety or effectiveness. People shouldn't be under the misconception that just because you can get these over the counter that they're safe. Each year it's estimated that 23,000 individuals are seen in emergency departments across the country due to adverse effects from different supplements. But the Council on Responsible Nutrition, a supplement trade group, says multivitamins fill nutrient gaps in our less than perfect diets and are not intended to serve as magic bullets. And the group points out multivitamins help low-income Americans combat insufficient nutrient levels for less than a dime a day. Cardiologists say things that have been shown to be heart healthy beyond a good diet include getting regular exercise, not smoking, and keeping blood pressure and cholesterol levels in check. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.